Hello, my name is Aaron Robinson and I am a full-time independent game developer. Uh, also, because of this headset, I am qualified to give you tech support. My game is called PuzzleBots and it's a point-and-click adventure game about five little robots who have to work together to solve puzzles. I can't pick it up now, I'd fall! Now, each robot can do something special, so the idea is they have to work together, use their abilities in conjunction to solve puzzles. And the big, I think, the interesting thing about these puzzles is that they take place in the human world, so the robots are about this big, and yet they're interacting with objects that are on this huge scale. And the robots are very naive. They, they were created in this, in this laboratory, and the story is they like to escape when the humans aren't looking. Uh-oh, the humans are coming back. All right, pre-popped popcorn. Now, where did I leave my glasses? Do I even wear glasses? So, they have to travel around in this world that's way too big for them, and they're seeing everything with fresh eyes, so they, they kind of get some things wrong. Like, they think, they think the coffee machine is a spaceship, and they think the toaster is a giant robot. So the game is kind of about exploring familiar things, and kind of seeing, seeing uh, I don't know, I don't want to call it magic, but seeing, seeing something kind of whimsical in them. Hmm. I think I made him mad. Uh oh. So as the robots go through the game on their little adventures, unbeknownst to the humans, they they mess with things and they they usually screw things up for the humans in big ways. For example, they they raid the vending machine and get the main human guy in trouble with his boss. Um, they accidentally set up two of the humans on a date, creating a problematic love triangle. Uh, they start stumbling upon some kind of sinister plot that perhaps would create some kind of overarching story to the game. What you do as a robot is very much tied in to what happens to the humans in the game. My real goal in designing PuzzleBots was to keep all the fun parts of adventure games, but to get rid of the stuff that's really frustrating. So for instance, instead of having one character that has like a look interaction, a pick up interaction, a talk to, whatever, we've got five different characters who can each do one special thing. So there's a robot that can pick things up, there's one who can push heavy things, there's one who can set things on fire. I think that's awesome. Uh, there's a robot who can swim, and there's one who can blow things up. Also, we've broken the game up into levels, so you're not carting around random inventory items for the whole game. There's also kind of a, a slow learning curve to kind of help out people who are not as familiar with the genre. There are also ample hints, there are collectibles, so it's really more of an adventure game, casual game sort of hybrid. And the whole idea is that it, I want to make the story really accessible, even to people who don't really play games. One of the big things I want to do is, is to basically bring this sort of experience to people who have given up on games. Working with Dave has been really cool. I was so thrilled that he offered to publish this game. We hadn't even met in real life when he offered to do that, which was, I don't know, a huge vote of confidence, which is really nice. For a while I had been wanting to take my company in kind of a new direction, not just have games on there written by me, but rather publish other developers and have more content. Aaron Robinson is a developer I had worked with in the past on one of my uh, games, one of the Blackwell games, and she was a lot of fun to work with, and she had this freeware game called Nanobots, and it was this little freeware game, short, low-res graphics, but the concept was really cool, and I, I knew that if we expanded on this, it could really it could really go somewhere, and I approached her about it and said, hey, we should collaborate, um, I'd love to act as your publisher, and she agreed. Most of the people working on the game I haven't met in real life. We have a background artist to actually do know, he's very talented, um, but our our musician, our robot animator guy, our sprite animator, I, I haven't met any of them, and so we just work remotely, and it's it's been really good, like, everybody working on the project really believes in it, and that that helps, because when everybody believes in the project, I, I just have to say, can you do this for me, and they, they do, it's wonderful. Uh, we've been working on this game for the last year and a half, and I'm very proud to have been part of it, because it's a really cool game, and it's a lot of fun, it's very cute, and uh, I'm not usually a fan of cute, so it, it's gotta be really damn cute for me to think it's cute. But there's a lot of substance behind the cute. The robots are very naive and innocent, and they uh, approach everything with this childlike enthusiasm that's really quite charming. And it's just a lot of fun. It's got this very kind of sweet, cute facade, but the story itself is very deep. And um, I think it's something that'll definitely make a splash once, once it's out and out there. And I think that just about covers everything. I guess all that's left is the cheesy outro. Oh! oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Try restarting.